Hi guys, my name is Andre Reese. I'm a photographer and videographer, and in today's video, I am gonna be discussing our non-branded Sony lens. Are they just as good for your Sony camera? Sort of scared to say this because of all the Sony fanboys who are gonna say, no, you have to have a Sony lens. You can't buy a Sony camera without buying the Sony lens. Well, I hate to say this, but Sony, yes, as, as great as some of their lens, many of their lenses are, you know, they're double the price. And are they that much better? I don't think so. And from my experience, I've used a Samyang 35 millimeter 1.4, a Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter 2.8, and the Sigma 50 millimeter 1.4. That's just some of the lens I own. I also have some Sony branded lens and some other Sigma lens, and I have not had any issues with any of them. You know, if I was to compare the 35 millimeter 1.4 Samyang head to head with the Sony version, or let's say the Sony 1.8, would I notice the difference once I edit the picture and I upload it to social media? which is mainly where I'm posting it. No, I, I wouldn't notice, I, I would not notice the difference. Does it focus perfectly? In my opinion, yes. I haven't had any issues with it. Does the eye autofocus work? Yes, it does. Does it miss focus? Sometimes, but not very often. Is it fast at focusing? It is. Now, if you wanna watch actual tests and you wanna see the milliseconds that people are saying, well, it misses sometimes or, it, it, it doesn't focus as fast as the Sony 35 millimeter. Are you really going to notice in the bigger frame of things? And, and it's like 80% cheaper than, than the Sony equivalent lens. I don't need it. If you're doing professional sports or your job as a photographer needs that you, you it has to be instant and you have to have the best, well then obviously you're not gonna go for the Samyang 35 millimeter. However, if you want a lens that works and and the quality is great it's sharp and it generally doesn't miss focus and you're paying like i said it's probably 80 percent less than the sony brand why not go for it then you have the tam the tamron 28 to 75 this legendary lens and compared to the sony version you know half the price and it's an exceptional lens. I use it for videography and for photography, but more for videos because of the versatility with the zoom. And I put it on my Ronin S with my camera, my Sony A9. Super sharp, really fast at focusing and a beautiful lens to use. And then there's the Sigma 50 millimeter 1.4. Again, I've used it for videography and for photography. And if you want to compare it to Sony's 50 millimeter, I mean, personally, I prefer the Sigma. And again, it's around half the price. You don't have to buy Sony branded lens to get amazing quality pictures with your Sony mirrorless camera. You can look elsewhere. The only reason I would go Sony, pure Sony branded, is if you wanted to have the best, the, the, the top of the range, and you wanted to ensure that it's the fastest of focusing, the sharpest, blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't need to explain. If you wanna have something that fits in your budget, but pretty much still does the same thing, go for other brands. They work really well now with Sony mirrorless cameras. You don't have to buy Sony and be ripped off these three lens you know, you could probably only buy, buy one Sony branded lens for these three. And I don't notice the difference. Well, if you did like that video, be sure to hit that like button. It really does help the channel. And if you do wanna see more videos when I post them and upload them, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Peace out.